Hello everybody, we're just going to jump right into this makeup look today and we're going to start by outlining our joker suits. I'm using a brown eyebrow pencil for this and I'm just mapping out his shirt, his little undercoat thingy and his jacket. I decided that I didn't like the shape that I was creating so I just erased it and started again. Using some kind of pencil to outline your drawings and your creations before doing them gives you this opportunity to erase and fix before it's too late. I was using a number of reference images for this and in some of the reference images his shirt looked more blue and in other reference images his shirt looked more green. I decided to go with the more green tone because I felt like it gave more of a contrast in regards to the rest of the suit. Once again, using my many reference images, I took some white body paint and started creating this pattern on his shirt. Not many of the reference images showed the pattern clearly, but to me it seemed like there were a lot of circles and spots. So I sort of just used that as a guideline and just created my own mishmash of the pattern. Once I was done creating the pattern on the shirt, I then went in with some black body paint and just drew those lines to indicate where the shirt ties. I then made buttons using black body paint just creating little circles and highlighting them with a white body paint. I didn't make these too detailed. I then went in with light brown, dark brown and black eyeshadow and created all the shading on the shirt. I created a shadow along the seam where the shirt has now been closed with the buttons. Um, I did some shading underneath the collar and also on the shirt where it would be underneath the undercoat. I also decided it was maybe still a little bit too flat and I created some clothing folds. Once I had created the clothing folds, I decided that my shading was maybe a smidge too dark. So I took the same brush that had the green body paint from the shirt on it and just tapped that gently across the shading just to soften it a little bit. I painted the undercoat with quite a bright orange body paint and then I took a burnt orange eyeshadow to create the shading. I shaded underneath where the undercoat was overlapping. I used that same eyeshadow to create the buttonholes and the buttons themselves, just making a hollow circle. And then I shaded underneath the collar and underneath the jacket. I also created some clothing folds using that same burnt orange eyeshadow. I 
I decided to deepen up the shading just a little bit where the shirt was underneath the undercoat. I took white body paint and painted the inside of the buttons and created the highlight points on the top of the undercoat. I mixed red body paint with a teeny tiny little bit of orange body paint and started painting the jacket. Now I did the shading just as I did with the shirt and the undercoat, but this time I used a bit of a maroony red sort of eyeshadow and just shaded underneath the collar where the arm sleeve seam is and just like I did with the previous two I created some clothing folds as well. Please excuse the random little shoulder jigs that I keep doing, I was really enjoying this body paint. I did some shading underneath where I thought the collars were sticking out over the jacket. Once again, taking that white body paint to highlight. Shading and highlighting is easily my favorite parts of a body paint. Shading is fun, but highlights just really bring out the body paint for me. I highlighted the tips of the collars to make them stand out a little bit more. And I also highlighted my shoulders using a big brush just to blend it out a little bit. I took some brown eyeshadow to create the shading on my neck to make it appear as though the shirt is casting a shadow on my neck. And onto the face and trust me you will never feel sexier than you will when you have a full face of clown makeup on. <laughs> I started out by painting my whole face white and then I took a light blue body paint and created the triangles above and below my eyes. I didn't want them to be perfect triangles because they aren't like that in my reference images and I wanted to stay as accurate to the movie as possible. For the triangles above your eyes, you're going to want to keep it sort of on the same level as your eyebrows and not really go onto your lids. And the ones underneath your eyes, you're going to want to go right up until your waterline. I painted my nose red and painted on that big beautiful clown smile. I then took some grey eyeshadow and just shaded in all the wrinkles and creases in my face, just trying to make myself look a little bit older. I also contoured my nose just to make it look a little bit smaller and I also contoured along the tip to make it look more pointy.
Oh, uh, my favorite part. The teeny tiny little red eyebrows. <laughs> and now you are done and you can go spray your hair green and terrorize Gotham City. Thank you.